Vegas Pro supports a wide variety of still image formats as well as the wide range of audio and video formats that it supports. Let's add one to this project. First, choose Insert Video Track to add a new video track to your project. In the Explorer window, navigate to a still image and add it to the new track. Place it somewhere after the text you just added. Add fades to the beginning and end of the event. Position your cursor just before the still image and play the project. Of course, there is no motion during the section of the video that holds the still image. However, if your still image size doesn't exactly match the dimensions of your live video area, you probably see some motion at the edges of the image where the video from the track below this one shows through. We'll use the Event Pan Crop tool to force the image to fill the entire screen and to add motion to it. Every video event, including generated media events and still image events, has an Event Pan Crop button. Click that button for the still image event now. The Event Pan Crop window has three main sections. The parameter settings on the left, the position box on the right, and the keyframe controller area along the bottom. The keyframe controller area has two tracks, the position track and the mask track. We'll work with the position track, so when I tell you to click in the keyframe controller area, make sure you aim for the position track. You'll see similar controller areas in many different places as you work on your Vegas project. In fact, you may have already noticed one in the Video Media Generator window when we were working with the text earlier, although we didn't use it. Because it shows up so often, it's important for you to understand the concept of this area, so we'll spend a bit of time on it now. Notice the triangular-shaped icon at the very beginning of each track in the keyframe controller area. This object, called a keyframe, represents a frame that defines the state of your project at a particular point in time. So, the keyframe in the position track defines the state of the event pan crop for this event at the very beginning of the project. You can add as many keyframes as you want. The parameter settings and the position box describe the state of the event at that time marked by the keyframe. If you need to, move the event pan crop window out of the way so you can see the timeline in the video preview window. Click the still image event so that you can see the image in the video preview window. As I mentioned earlier, the dimensions of this image may be far different than the dimensions of DV video and thus you see the letterboxing above and below it. To fix this problem, right-click the position box and choose Match Output Aspect from the pop-up menu. The position box shows that you've actually cropped a portion of the image out. Vegas has also enlarged the picture so that it fills the entire screen. With that problem solved, let's add motion to this still image. Click about three-quarters of the way down the keyframe controller area timeline. Make sure to aim for the position track. Click the Create Keyframe button to add a new keyframe at the cursor location. This keyframe has the exact characteristics of the previous keyframe, but we can change them. Drag the position handle in the lower left-hand corner of the position box up and to the right. As you do so, you see in the Video Preview window that you are zooming in on the image. Keep zooming until the width setting in the parameters area to the left reads around 850. Point to the bottom of the F in the position box and drag the position box to the most interesting area of the image. So now you have two different keyframes located at different times with different parameters. Vegas Pro interpolates between these two keyframes to create a transition from the first keyframe to the second. You can add as many keyframes as you want and can thus create all kinds of zooming and panning effects on your still image. For now, we'll just add this one new keyframe. Close the Event Pan Crop window. Position the cursor before the still image and play your project. You can thanks use the Event Pan Crop tools on any video really or still wanted. image event. We owe a great deal of thanks to Rick Thiel, who lent not only.